Well, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS uh, Fun with Amateur Radio channel. Putting the fun back into Amateur Radio. Um, I was playing around over the uh, the weekend with my old valve amp, my FLDX2000 from uh, 1967, and uh, had a couple of good uh, QSOs with it. Got some good reports. Yeah, the valve's glowing away in there. We hear the fan running. As you can see, it's all original on the smoothing capacitors. All original. I haven't uh, haven't changed anything yet. Now, um, I've got it. Uh, I've got it at the moment connected to the uh, to the <coughs> excuse me to the dummy load over the back there. There's a dummy load. Goes into the actual switch. And you can see the switch is selected to the dummy load. Okay. Now. Um, I had seen 600 watts out of this unit before, and um, I, I think I tried to uh, show that with a with a video, and I couldn't get I couldn't get more than 500 watts out of it. So I was just playing around with it over the weekend, um, again connected to the dummy load, of course, and sure enough, 600 watts come out of it. I thought, wow. Okay, well I'll uh, I'll record that in case it never happens again. <laughs> So there's the little uh, 945E that matches the uh, the FT450 uh, to the FLDX2000. Now I've got um, I've got the uh, FT450 selected to FM and 50 watts output. So I'm driving the amplifier with 50 watts. Look at the anode current meter, plate current meter. It goes up to. 1200 milliamps. Now, um, <clears throat> so I'm overdriving it a bit, um, but I read somewhere that you can, uh, these are designed to run 1200 watts input. Now, the HT sags down to 1046 volts under these conditions. When I, when I do that, HT voltage goes down to 1046 volts. So it's 1.2 amps, that's so given me 1255 watts input. These are designed to run 1200 watts input. Um, and people have said that you can run them at 1500 watts input with less than 10 percent distortion now I'm not going to try that but I just thought I'd show that um, with uh, what did I say 1255 watts DC input according to this anyway I'll have to I'll have to put it on a bird meter and see how this compares but uh, as you can see this is on the two kilowatt range this little gadget forward power and uh, there's a bit of glare there. If you can see the meter, can you see the meter? There we go. Right now, if I press the PTT, you can see it's going up to about 600 watts. So the 2000 watt range is the second one up. That's going up to about 600 watts. So it'd be interesting to see how. This compares with uh, the reading on a bird, uh, a bird through line, but certainly as a relative reading, that's the highest reading I've seen out of this unit. So for 1,255 watts DC input, I'm getting a, looks like a smidge over 600 watts output. That's probably as uh, that's probably about as good as these things get, I would think. So uh, so there we are. I just thought. Uh, um, as it was uh, as it was set up and it tuned nicely and I got plenty of power out of it I'd um, I'd record it as I said earlier just in case uh, it never happens again <laughs> as always hope you found that interesting uh, thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you next time <laughs>